Dear God, can I speak? Mama said to watch my words, but keeping it in is starting to hurt. Did you see that black eye on Ellen from down the street? She went to the police, but they wouldn't help her. Mama says it's because her husband's a policeman too. <laughs> Did you hear about Uncle Jerry's kids? Mary said they've been fishing in the sewers. Where did Uncle go? Mama said he ran off with another woman. Cry when Auntie Mata was being poked with hot iron. Mama said, Those men were jealous of a big house. Can you tell them it's not hers? Can you pay for little John's school fees? I saw him crying at the market when some kids from his school walked by him. Can you also build a house? For late Mother Rose's son. He always sleeps by the second hand. Mama doesn't let me say hi to him anymore. She says he's not right in the head. Can you make him right too? Could you get Auntie Lydia a new job? Mama said she left because her boss gave a younger guy a position she'd been working 10 years to get. Can you make the big man listen to mama? She's been telling them all the bad things that's been happening, but it only makes them angry. Please help them, God, to not be so angry. Why can't everything just be better? Mama says, praying gives us strength to make everything better. That's why I'm praying, so I can help make everything better too. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you learned something from our video, which basically was about human rights issues. Media is the savior to the voiceless, the common ignorant, the unreached, and the untaught. Media helps shape the future so that the abusers and their abusers do not get to be repeated in the future. When we speak up, someone always listens. Perceiving is reality. We listen to understand. That is the beginning of education. The more we speak up, the more lawmakers understand and begin to address our demands favorably. Media is resilient when more facts and figures are provided with the negative and positive effects of abuses. When a leader is educated on human rights, his or her influence trickles to others, leading to an educated and informed nation. Human rights issues can never be truly addressed by an individual, no matter his or her influence. It takes governments, it takes communities, it takes a nation to tackle it. We can work together, we can voice our concerns as a community today so that the proper ideas, perceptions are properly shaped for a better tomorrow. The brightness of our thoughts and actions of tomorrow will be determined by collective decisions today. Our voices must be heard. Our freedom to speak is the first proper beginning of a right long path in addressing human rights abuse. Our freedom of speech is the driver to addressing all other human rights. God bless media freedom.